What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great freaking Friday. I am doing exactly what I love, and that is working on a piece of crap and making it beautiful. Keeping up, of course, with them boys. Interesting take. Interesting take here with the Cowboys and one of our players. A guy who I was really excited about the Cowboys when they signed him, or excuse me, drafted him. Um, but we're beginning to get better and better talent. And some of the guys that have not performed. I wonder if this will stay up here. Let's see if I can, can bounce. So close. So close to be, okay. It was close to being able to balance it there. Um, I ended up breaking my tripod holder, so I need to get another one. Um, Navelle Gallimore, the Canadian bulldozer. I love the Canadian Bulldozer for nothing else because of his nickname. I mean, Canadian Bulldozer. Unfortunately, after he ended up getting the um, hyperextended elbow, he was playing great up until that point. But once he got that hyperextended elbow and he missed the, um, originally he said he'd missed like three weeks and it ended up being that he missed like 11 games, he was just never the same. And he's had a harder time getting on the field. He only played about 40% of the snaps. And so one of the publications is basically saying he's on the bubble because of Tyler Smith, of course, being drafted. And then you've got Quentin Bohannon, and you brought back Hankins as well. This is where training camp is going to be interesting this year. This is no bullshit. you got a lot of guys that are fighting for their Dallas Cowboys life this year. Um, you start thinking about guys like Kevin Joseph, um, who has had off the field issues where it's now time to poop or get off the toilet. Um, it just is because there's other guys that are in there ready to take your place. After you got guys like Stefan Gilmore um, there, you can't be just regular Joe and think that you're going to make it on this roster. There are going to be guys who get cut from this team that probably will be getting jobs elsewhere. It won't be with the Cowboys, but there'll be some place working. I can guarantee you that because there's too much talent on this team. But Lavelle Gallimore, the thing I loved about him uh, coming out of college was he had a motor that literally did not quit. And I remember seeing him um, a couple years. Th this is what's sad about football. You see so much potential with some guys. When he trucked Mike Pouncey, he literally took Mike Pouncey, drove him straight back into Big Ben for the sack. That's where you looked at and said, man, this guy's got power. He's got leverage. He's got tenacity. And I remember the probably about two weeks before he ended up messing up his, his elbow. I love the quote where he had, you know, when he's like, when, you know, they were talking about getting the pads on. He's like, oh, man, get the pads on. This is when you smack them. And, you know, I was like, yeah, that's the kind of guy that you like in the middle. But, unfortunately, he is on the bubble. And, like I said, we've got quite a few guys that are on the bubble that it's time for them to perform. Not just on the defensive line. There's guys like Semi Fioco who may be on the bubble and has to start showing stuff up. Um, Noah Brown is, of course, well, excuse me, not Noah Brown, jeez. Noah Brown is gone. Again, that was a guy who really needed to show up and do more than he did. Um, but Sammy Fioco is definitely one of those guys that are going to need to. Jalen Tolbert does, um, but Jalen Tolbert will get another year because, you know, they drafted him in the third round. and They'll give him more time to try and get there. Uh, Semi, though, this is put up or shut up time for him. So we'll see what happens with those guys. And uh, the camp battles are going to be intense, I think, because 
Like I said, you got guys now that'll be playing for their Dallas Cowboys lives. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm almost to the corner here, scraping all of this off. See, I started there this morning, cleaning it off, and then I'm gonna be able to put some more paint on this stuff. We get this stuff painted, it's gonna look purdy. I mean, real purdy. It's definitely a lot better than what it used to be. You know, I like a challenge. My bride over there, took me about 20 years to finally get her. 20 years. See, I don't give up. I never, ever give up. And um, working on this house is, um, it's a lot of joy for me. But it's also not just for me. It's for the city and all the people here in the community to save a piece of the history. Now, of course, you know how it is. I got all kinds of haters and stuff out there. I am determined that we are going to get a historic marker put here. I've already started doing the research on it. Um, basically, you have to apply for it with the state of Virginia. Uh, they, they take the application four times a year, quarterly. And basically, they decide on about six sites a year on whether or not they are deemed worthy enough to be a historic marker. And um, after you're approved, then it's about a $3,000 cost because, hey, how you doing? Because they have to uh, make the marker, of course, and it takes time for them to actually do it. Um, up the hill, up the mountain from here, is actually the um, Blue Ridge Parkway Tunnel, which was a train tunnel that was cut a mile into the mountain. And they have hence, since turned it into a park where you can walk the mile plus through the mountain tunnel that was dug out by hand. And they just yesterday ended up putting one of the historic markers there and designating it a historic site. And so for the people out there that have been hating and saying it's not historic and this, that, and the other, you gotta understand something about me. 20 years. I worked that 20 years to get her. I got her. You'll never outwork me. You'll motivate me when you tell me I can't do something. All right, good people. I am going to get back to uh, the heat gun, heating up this old paint, scraping it off, and sanding it. You know what? That's some solid wood. 200-year-old wood. It ain't going nowhere. Peace.